Cooper from AMX, and I'm here at Infocom 2014, and we really want to talk about the blended learning environment that we're in right now. Okay? So there's actually multiple things going on inside this blended learning. I'm going to start from the most economical and then build our ways up to the blended learning. First of all, inside our conference table here, we have what's called the Solstice 4x1. We have a Solstice 4x1. It's four inputs, one output. The output is an HDMI as well as a mirrored output that's DX lens. So the Solstice is a very economical solution because what I can do is actually take a laptop, plug it in to my Solstice, and it will actually detect the sync of the video from my laptop and automatically route the uh, laptop to the output of the HDMI or to the DX link, giving me a direct connection to my display. Just as it is, I can do a very economical presentation collaboration kind of environment. Now, let's take this one step further. I can actually add into our hydro ports a button that says show me, so that this laptop is the laptop that gets shown every time I press the button. Or if I wanted to show the other laptop, I could press a button on that hydro port and it would show that particular laptop. On the back of the Solstice are some keypads that I can actually plug those buttons into and actually control the Solstice from that perspective. Hardwire, no begin. Now, let's take it one step further, okay? Because I have a DX link out, okay, I can actually take this solstice and use DX link to the DVX. We have multiple DX links in, and I'm actually routing a DX link to my DVX, and I can actually, uh, I can actually uh, send any one of the laptops that are on that table to the DVX and display it up onto my, uh, onto my display, just from a simple touch panel and control. Now, because I have a controller in there, and because our solstice is actually on the Ethernet, I have the ability to control it from my DVX. So my DVX, this is a native Netlinks device, and so I can actually tell that device, hey, switch to input one, switch to input two, switch to input three or four. And that should actually display on the screen with my touch screen. And I'll show that to you in a minute. So right now, you can actually see the laptop sitting up on top of the DVX. You can actually see the laptop sitting on our display, and I can pick any of the four laptops that are out on my table right now. To add an added function to our blended learning is we've introduced some new applications with regards to our Enzo. So let me kind of share with you a little bit about our Enzo. Our Enzo application, and if you remember from last year at Infocom, we introduced this collaboration device. Basically, it was the ability for us to do collaboration. This year, we're actually introducing a few more features with regards to so I'm going to actually start a session just like we did last year. I'm going to start a collaboration. You'll see inside our Enzo the same things that we had before except a few more. First of all, I'm just going to deal with the uh, documents. Okay? This is what we did last year. And we were able to actually grab documents from anything, from my Dropbox, from a local uh, download, or a USB. Well, the problem with that is, and that's a great thing, because I can put my documents on USB, but the problem is, is I don't carry my USB with me every time I do a presentation. And, you know what? I don't use Dropbox. So, what am I supposed to do? go out, and we had this last year as well, is the ability to create an application via a URL. So based on that, I can actually create several apps, and each of them can be someplace that I might need to go. So I happen to use Google Docs. So all I have to do is go to the Google, Google Docs uh, URL, click on it, and it'll actually run out to the World Wide Web, go to Google Docs, and allow me to enter my username and password to log in, and now I can grab my documents and bring them onto my app. So, So now I've got my documents on my Enzo, and now I want to share them with my group. So all I do is open them up, share them, and they're on the screen, and I'm having collaboration. Okay. Well, I don't always upload everything onto Google Docs. I don't always use Dropbox. I don't always use the cloud. So what do I do? 
And a lot of times in my presentations, I will end up having my presentation on my cell phone, on my iPad, or on my laptop. So, because I didn't upload them up to the cloud, I have no way to access them. So how will I actually access them inside this collaboration space? Well, we've added a new feature called Screen Mirror. Do a start a screen uh, uh, screen mirroring session, and I'm basically got an IP address. The IP address you see there is the IP address of my Enzo, and now I'm going to actually connect my device to the Enzo using this code. This is a security code, and every time I execute a screen mirroring, that code changes. It's not always the same. So right now, I'm going to grab my uh, my iPad. I'm going to actually start uh, a, uh, a web screen sharing right now. I'm going to enter the code. And I'm going to, and I'm going to share a document. And there's my document. I'm sharing the document from collaboration right now from the end zone. Now I can do this from my doc. I can do this from my iPad. I can do this from my laptop. My laptop can actually push it to me. I can do this from my iPad. Okay, so I've done the screen sharing. I can share that with the local group as I'm doing with it. But what about those people who aren't in my immediate huddle space or my immediate collaboration room? What do I do? Well, I can actually, and from Enzo, I've actually added the ability to do web conferencing. So now I can actually share my documents, not only with my group inside my room, but now I can actually share them with people that are out on my corporate web, maybe internationally or nationally that are on my wide area network. So I'm actually going to start an application. Where I'm going to use XAV. And I already have a conference in progress, so I'm going to join that conference. see my uh, local area, and we're actually using an AMX camera that we introduced in this show. It's an HD uh, 1080p camera. Um, it actually plugs into the Enzo via USB, and uh, basically it has the ability to uh, two microphones, which will actually do echo canceling. So it actually compares the uh, the, uh, the, the the noise inside the room, and will actually do echo canceling as well as. Demonstrating my video right here. Now, oh, okay, so this is just a webcam. Yes, but it's actually more than just a webcam. It actually has the ability to physically shut the system off. So right now you can see my video up here in the top right hand corner. Now, when I talk about physically shutting it off, I actually have a mechanical switch on the camera. Right now, I've disconnected the video physically from the camera, and I've disconnected the audio physically from the camera. Nobody can actually hack into this camera via a software application or anything, so that they can't hear my conference and they can't see my conference when I'm in the room. And that's really important for the security of this We're one of the few companies that actually have a camera that actually does this. I'm going to turn my camera back on. Again. So my camera's back up, full audio, full video. Now, in my web conference, I have a lot of things that I can do. I can disable the video. I can disable the, uh, the microphones. I can also share my screen. So those documents that I just brought in from Dropbox or from the, from, uh, the web, the cloud, or um, those places where I actually went and got them from a screen hop, if I'm sharing a screen hop, I can actually share that screen from Enzo. So whatever I'm looking at on Enzo will actually be sent to the far end. I can manage the meeting. I can mic. I can uh, mute all the video from uh, my participants. I can mute all the audio from my participants. And last but not least, once I am done with it, oh, I can also instant message. So, and last but not least, once I am fully done with the actual presentation, I can hang up the call.
out to my home screen from my end zone and basically uh, I'm ready to exit if I need to. So the last thing for our end zone, which we did show last year, was that when I exit, it's going to purge all of my data so the guy that comes behind me doesn't have access to any of my data.